So we have to understand it as women that sex is incredibly important to men. And we know that. That's why we use sex as a weapon and we use sex to manipulate and control. And we all know how we do that and have done that. And what happens is that uh, we begin to treat our husbands like Neanderthals and that there's something wrong with them, that sex is so important to them. And we want, want to change them and make them so wrong for just who they are as a man. But you have to understand when you chose to get married and, and you made vows and you made a, com a commitment to your husband, you took on the role and responsibility to have sex in your marriage and enjoy it as a part of a healthy relationship. I'm going to pause it right there real quick. Look, I've been in a relationships where I had to literally beg sometimes. I've been in relationships where I've been called thirsty. Um, I, I realize more and more as time goes by, you have to pick a person that, uh, that matches your sex drive. You have to pick a person that actually, uh, you, you have the same values, uh, expectations, um, everything, all the traditional things in life, but also a person that actually likes you. A person that you like and a person that actually likes you. That way, um, as much as we know with time, sex may kind of, you know, minimize, um, but at least we could say if this, if, if she's not there because she, you know, she sees you got big pockets, deep pockets. Maybe you got a chance, bro. Maybe you got a chance to where this person to just do anything for you. You'll have a great time with this person for a long period of time. She'll drain you to the point where um, you ain't thinking about going out cheating and uh, nothing else like that. She's just into you physically, mentally, everything. Um, that's a hard find. That's a hard hard call to to ask for but perhaps it's out there you dig what i'm saying but um you know men are demonized sometimes just for being men for being themselves so she hit that on the head we gonna keep it going i, I just had to add that in there let's keep it going man women need to understand and and this was well let me finish that thought women need to understand that sex is not an option and it is not something that is inconsequential. Sex is part of a healthy relationship and marriage. And this is one of the things I've been reflecting on because when I, my husband and I got engaged, I had already started withdrawing and putting a wall up around sex when in the beginning of our relationship and dating and, and leading up to us getting married. We had a, a, a very healthy, enjoyable sex life. And then I threw my walls up and that's very, very common for us as women. And it was, it, it was a, a really, really big challenge in, in even just my early thirties, which is so sad to me now. And I had to learn an important part of my healing, uh, in my marriage. Um, and, th and through this decade of my thirties in the beginning was, overcoming the walls I had built around sex and my marriage. And I'm going to pause it right there again, all right? Um, one thing I've noticed and I just realized just with reading, understanding science a little bit, is that we just naturally have two different sex drives. Nature made it that way. Are there nymphos out there? Of course, there's women that are nymphos out there. Salute to all the nymphs, man. But naturally, you're going to have men that, you know, just because of testosterone, they just on a go, go, go. And even now today with men getting older and they having T-cell uh, um, shots and things of that nature, it's keeping men going for even longer and longer and longer compared to women. And, and you know, unfortunately with age, 
mid-30s and on, you know, due to menopause and things of that nature, menopause doesn't just attack the, the physical, it also attacks the mental. You heard what she said right there. You did what I'm saying? She wasn't really uh, interested like that no more. She got cold to her husband. You know what I mean? And, uh, you know, so, you know, you could do your research. Look at that. How it not only attacks the physical with the dryness and the hot flashes and this and that, but it also attacks the mental for a lot of women. So on that part, I would say, man, I don't know. I, I'm not a doctor. I can't sit here and say, man, shame on them or they need to fix that or they need to do, you know, that's that's a woman speaking right there. And I'm just going off of what she said. I don't know what the women go through personally, but, you know, that's where I think we bump heads a little bit, though. You know, women, you know, especially in their mid 30s and up going through what they're going through. And then men, you know, still having that that just that, oomph, you know what I mean? And that that readiness and that power a lot of times and um it's just not being matched so boom we naturally of course gonna bump heads you dig what i'm saying but uh all right we almost done y'all let's keep it going and and recognizing that i couldn't have sex with my husband as a duty or a chore or an obligation when we have sex from a place of obligation or as a chore we feel used, we feel resentful, and we're doing what we're supposed to do. That's a wonder, actually a wonderful example of being nice is, is doing sex to, to check the box and, and say, done, maybe I bought myself a week or two, and then shutting down. That's not okay in a marriage. It's not, that's a, a cruel, cruel way to treat your husband who is a man in which this is very important to him. So ladies, let me make it very, very clear. You cannot have a healthy marriage. You cannot have a healthy relationship. If you are not having sex with your husband or you are shut down to sex and doing it as an obligation and a chore, it's not okay. And, and you can't have a healthy relationship or a healthy marriage from that place. We all know sex is part of a healthy relationship. And, and, and here is something that is very important, ladies. We all enjoy sex. If you remember when you met your husband or before you met your husband and you were dating and having different relationships with men, we couldn't wait. We couldn't wait to get together and meet up for a date and 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 know where that that was going to lead. And and we can reflect back to the beginning of our relationship before we got engaged, before we got married and we were in the the newness. We loved and enjoy having sex. We begin to put our walls up and I'm not going to get too much into that but I I uh let me stop it right there man. The problem is you know, it don't stay new forever. The problem is the honeymoon don't last forever. Everybody wish it did, that just ain't life. If we can find a way to keep the honeymoon stage going, you know what I mean? Whether it's mentally or whatever, then, you know, I think things would be great. There wouldn't be sexless marriages. We wouldn't be in this problem. We wouldn't be here. We wouldn't be talking about it right now, but unfortunately you know it just don't last it just don't you know that honeymoon stage is just that the honeymoon stage you dig what i'm saying but anyways we're gonna end it off right here y'all check it out <laughs>